Welcome to the Alliance series of webinars on the voluntary targets for road safety. The second phase of our web webinar series aims to show simple approaches that NGOs can take to help their governments to implement each of the targets in a meaningful and effective way. We have reached target eight, and this webinar is one of two webinars in the series focusing on target eight. By 2030, increase the proportion of motor vehicle occupants using safety belts or standard child restraint system to close to 100%. In this webinar, we look at the role of safety belts in reducing road injuries. The webinar is presented by Lika Mirabishvili of Partnership for Road Safety Georgia and is based on a webinar taken from our crash courses for key risk areas. Lika will talk about why it's important to wear a seat belt and how to improve seat belt usage. Yes, uh, so during my presentation, I will talk about uh, our organization's mission. Uh, why it is important to wear seat belt? Uh, also, I will identify stereotypes that was um, in Georgia. Uh, also, well, we should know the context and uh, statistical data about uh, um, about what we are going to do. Also, I will talk about how to build coalition um, and also how to reach uh, uh, and engage citizens, how to educate them and increase their uh, awareness. Uh, I will talk about the holistic approach and also how to find valuable partner for um, our projects. Uh, and uh, so what what we uh, do generally, uh, our organization, is to promote safe roads and uh, clean transport for all road users, more, more than a uh, decade, and also to advocate for safe and sustainable mobility in the cities and in the regions of Georgia. We work on education campaigns, also we work with decision makers. We meet uh, every day with uh, local and regional uh, government representatives. We have a very good network with uh, media and try to involve them uh, every day and step by step media and journalists starting to be more active and uh, they are more interested in road safety issues. Uh, in Georgia, generally, we, uh, we have a 3.7 million population and we have uh, a road fatality uh, per uh, 1 million people. It's uh, 162. Um, and uh, uh, as we know, in European uh, countries, uh, average uh, death, uh, um, death level is 52 people per 1 million. Um, uh, and uh, last year, in 2015, we had uh, uh, more than 6,000 uh, road accidents and we had six and, uh, 602 people died on the Georgia and uh, 9,187 people had serious uh, trauma. Every day uh, we have 25 people injured and among these people three are children and five are pedestrian adults. And um, half, uh, uh, like, uh, half of these people are uh, between 15 to 14 years old and those people are very active and they, uh, they are very important for the country, not only for their family but for the country because they are the people who are uh, the most active and they uh, have to um, add something and to work for not all the families but for the country. So uh, the deaths of those people also have very bad influence on the uh, country's economy too. Um, so we uh, we start uh, we, when we start our project we try to mobilize our resources not only the private uh, and media also we work with uh, with the government uh, representatives very um, actively and we try to inform society and uh, about the importance of uh, of our pro project of uh, uh, general is road safety and also clean, tra clean transport um, and to promote safe mobility uh, culture and uh, share also we want, we want to share the best, best practice and we try to involve our country in the global movement and try to, to follow all the global actions. 
Now why it is important to wear seat belt? Um, so during the crashes, uh, wearing seat belts decreases the risk of death with 60 per, uh, about 60 percent. We know it's about the World Health Organization's report. Uh, what, how it helps? When we when crash happens and um, we uh, we have uh, uh, and the airbag opens, um, it it damages uh, our body. So we need some uh, so something to be tied, and seat belt helps us to to be protected from uh, uh, airbag. So it protects also from falling out of the car after the crash, and also seat belts. Uh, makes equal distribution of crash energy, and it helps passenger to to be survived and to be safe. In Georgia, when we started campaign, we had uh, um, very uh, um, um, so we had some stereotypes. Uh, many uh, drivers, also taxi drivers said that we don't want to use a seat belt um, for a short distance. Sometimes we are going to the only to the market uh, to buy some food. Also experienced drivers uh, said that we also don't need seat belt because we can control our situation better than seat belt. Also they say that it's it's dangerous to be tied in the car during the car crash because sometimes we need to, to be to get out of the car and seat belts uh, um, ties us. Also we need uh, we don't belt for a low speed and also there was some sort of type that in the rear seat passenger is safe without seat belt also and uh, airbag can save uh, and protect me. Uh, we all, um, to to reply all this um, Stereotypes. We try to show them uh, videos that is available on YouTube. Just Google or search on the YouTube, and you will find a lot of videos how seatbelt helps uh, passenger um, with also uh, with uh, seatbelt. Uh, in uh, most countries, so 111 countries um, also have seatbelt laws. It makes uh, that uh, uh, makes is using uh, mandatory of the belt. Uh, the green on the map, uh, green uh, color, is a country that have also seat belts adopted or uh, seat belts all for all occupants. Black is only subnational level, and uh, red one is uh, there is no seat belts for for the passengers in the car. Um, as we see mo in most countries, um, in Europe, in Asia, also in America, they have seat belt, uh, mandatory seat belt use uh, law. As I al already said, um, seat belt reduces the risk of death uh, among front uh, passengers, uh, front seat passengers with uh, uh, 40, 60, 65 percent, and uh, for the rear uh, seat occupants by 25 percent. Uh, also, I want to say a little about the child restraints. Um, also, we did not have in Georgia uh, mandatory use of uh, child restraints in the front seat, uh, to, uh, but two years ago um, the law was adopted, and uh, how it helps. So seatbelt is for uh, adults and for the not it doesn't matter only um, age but it is about the body. Uh, so big person who is more than uh, 16 years old, 18 years old can um, seatbelt can tie and save uh, his or her life. But um, for the child it's um, it's very difficult to uh, to tie uh, with seatbelt needs uh, additional restraints such as child car seats, and it's also very important to, to consider that we, don't, we should not use uh, child cars uh, uh, in the front seat. It's, uh, it's important to install child restrained car seats uh, in the front uh, back seat. It, it's uh, safer. Um, also, we see that uh, in many countries, uh, in Australia, in Denmark, Japan, UK, uh, after law adoption, Using uh, seat belts, uh, the number of using seat belts was increased, and uh, it worked also in Georgia. Uh, so first, 
So what we what we what we should do is to change legislation. And um, in my country, in Georgia, uh, also penalties and uh, um, legislation worked. Uh, so um, uh, before changing legislation, uh, we should uh, prepare our uh, public and uh, people for for um, changing behavior. Um, it's very difficult, especially in in the traditional countries such as Georgia. It's very difficult to change people's um, mind and behavior um, just for one year. Um, we worked with uh, patrol police officers, with the uh, Ministry of uh, Internal Affairs. Um, we worked also with uh, private sectors. We did a lot of educational trainings, uh, visited schools, we distributed educational flyers to um, to the children, uh, and the children took all these materials to their parents. We met also their parents as the employees, um, and we visited um, also insurance companies, other very big uh, private organizations. Uh, we tried to involve media and uh, celebrities all this campaign. Um, the, but first of all, our target uh, audience was parliament and members of parliament. We did um, a several uh, working group discussions and we invited, um, uh, we invited the speakers and the uh, first lady was, our, um, was involved in our campaign for the seat belt. Uh, uh, she was a supporter of our uh, big campaign. So when we started our uh, working, uh, uh, they, uh, we did research uh, about seatbelt usage, and as uh, as the slides uh, shows um, in Tbilisi, uh, only one percent drivers use seatbelts. It's almost nothing, and on the highways it was uh, uh, 41 percent uh, by drivers and 39 by front passengers. Um, after this, we tried to uh, we tried to reach the society. Uh, we did uh, we worked in the partnerships, uh, we, as I said, uh, with government, with media, with private sector, and also with local NGOs. Uh, at this time, there was very little NGOs. Almost uh, nobody was working on road safety, but other NGOs that could help us. Uh, also, you know, we took some uh, promotional video that was uh, as the um, social commercial videos. Uh, uh, it was shown on uh, national and regional TV uh, channels, uh, and it was free uh, without any charge. Um, we uh, also uh, posted our posters on buses in Tbilisi that moved uh, on the central uh, streets. We visited uh, hospitals, uh, distributed our also children uh, restraints uh, for, for um, newborn uh, baby mothers. Um, and we had also a door-to-door -door campaign um, and tried to reach uh, all, all the people. Now everybody knows that uh, the big campaign was uh, was the child, uh, road safety campaign worked, and nobody knows in the uh, in the country about this campaign. It was very popular during that time. Uh, we also uh, uh, took some uh, photos and we had posters also. Um, we had also we uh, asked uh, um, uh, writers, famous writers, celebrities to get involved. We had short uh, uh, poems about using seat belts, um, and also we uh, took uh, uh, photos when these celebrities, these journalists, uh, uh, politicians, first lady uh, was taken, and we had exhibition. Um, invited uh, media and all these people involved in, the, in this project and uh, people, uh, other people like public, ordinary uh, people, citizens saw how these celebrities, politicians, also first lady, uh, we are wearing these seat belts. Uh, we, uh, first time we showed uh, uh, videos on TV 
uh, how damages after the crash, how uh, not using seatbelt damages our life and um, how it is bad for our health. But people had very bad reaction and we, then we changed our manner and uh, tried to um, uh, change our campaign also. And we, we had the slogan, uh, just buckle up for your love. And uh, you see now the uh, poster on the bus. Um, this uh, this uh, bus also says the same, buckle up for your love. Um, after uh, campaign, uh, after five years campaign, seat belt, seat belt law was adopted before New Year in December um, in uh, 2010. Uh, our president um, opened uh, his uh, New Year talk uh, for the citizens. Uh, uh, and announced that now seat belt law was adopted and we have to buckle up for our safe. And after law adoption, we have changed um, uh, uh, in, uh, we did research and we have changed the results. Uh, now 95% uh, drivers are using seat belt in Tbilisi and uh, on highways it's 98%. Almost everyone, I think, Almost everyone are using seat belts now, especially on highways. Also, we, we got uh, changes in um, uh, statistical data that is uh, official and is provided by Ministry of Internal A Affairs. Uh, when it was uh, 867 uh, people died in 2008, um, now we have 602 people. It's still very high if you compare Georgian population, but uh, we have changes and it's it's good that it's decreased. But we have a lot of to work to change and to decrease again this number. Um, I think that uh, we, uh, we, we, it's important to involve always private sector government officials, decision makers. Uh, during now um, our main events, we try to uh, have working group meeting. Um, we uh, hire also conference meet, uh, conference halls to uh, to organize conference meetings. Uh, we have conferences with media and we have also discussion meeting with uh, decision makers invite the main uh, um, people who are uh, responsible for um, for also law adoption or maybe traffic infrastructure in Tbilisi and in the regions. Um, we also try to work uh, with uh, private um, uh, sector and also very important. It's very important to work with hospitals and insurance companies. Um, we try to work with uh, coalition. As we, as you see, there is very uh, a short number of our um, short list of our um, uh, partners. Um, we have now more partners because from project to project, we we try to involve more media and more people, more organizations. So not only local, but from international level and it's very short number that you, you see here it's very increased now so it's important to start with media with um, uh, business sector uh, ask them as we did ask we asked uh, uh, big companies uh, banks and uh, insurance companies and big other private companies to to ask their employees to wear seat belts and they did it uh, their drivers and not only drivers but uh, just uh, also their employees. Uh, we use social media very actively as Facebook, Twitter, um, also we have uh, local video uh, www.video.g, um, also YouTube we put all our um, visits to uh, media and um, uh, programs news programs when uh, when um, the news program always uh, uh, broadcast about our events events big events all these videos all the new information we put on uh, YouTube and social media um, and we try to 
uh, be uh, flexible to work with other uh, NGOs. We always, our uh, organization is always open in, for partnership. Um, we try to find some champions uh, who will be road safety champions uh, in our country and who will be the first who will wear uh, seat belt. Um, and I think that's all. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Lika. Should you wish to learn more, we have collected a number of resources for you to explore further. You can find them on our website, which is shown here. This is also where you put your question and evaluate the webinars. Thank you very much. The webinar is available online and you can go back and listen to it as many times as you like. Should you wish to learn more, have we collected a number of resources which you can find on our website. Thank you for listening and have a safe day.